what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about harry potter in this video here today now harry potter really could become a frequent topic of discussion on this channel if any of these reports that come out result in actual projects happening within the wizarding world so back in 2021 i believe as reports like this started circulating from variety and some other outlets picked it up after variety that Harry Potter would get some TV series. Now, those fizzled out as the year went on, only for us to ultimately get this very lovely reunion special from HBO Max earlier this year, like right after Christmas, to kick off the new year. I think it was actually on New Year's Day. It was a very fun way to kick off the new year. Now, while I was watching that reunion special, I always like just thinking in the back in the back of my mind, this is kind of a way to test the waters, just a taste of what's to come potentially. If things don't work out with Fa Fantastic Beasts as they have not, unfortunately, and if they want to redirect, they can see that there's still some love and passion behind the original source material within the Wizarding World, that being Harry Potter. Now, again, unfortunately, with the recent downward spiral of the Fantastic Beast movies, the Ezra Miller drama that's also tacked on to stuff related to Fantastic Beast, box office projections not being what Warner Brothers hoped. I imagine now that the focus seems to be on doing something different with the Harry Potter franchise. Recent reports made it known that David Sasloff, who is the CEO, wants more movies if J.K. Rowling is down, but that doesn't actually have to be centered on Harry if those movies were to ever happen. You know, that's just what these are known as within the wizarding world because the primary storylines so far have been centered on a boy named harry potter but the wizarding world has so many plot threads related to harry that could be fleshed out into their own adaptations uh or things like films tv shows however you want to do it now if those movies end up happening they could go in a variety of different ways similar to how a tv show could actually go down which now it seems like new reports from variety make it seem as though head of con the head of creative content at hbo max sarah aubrey is working to actually make a wizarding world tv show happen this is the assumption based on her comments related to focusing on tentpole ips and hyping it up hyping up in development projects or upcoming projects that are actually tv shows not movies like the it prequel series she mentioned and just like that which i know is tied to sex in the city i believe the dune tv show and then she made these nice comments about the wizarding world saying we're very much in the business of creating new content for those fans and thinking of what to do next there's endless tv show stories you could do for the wizarding world and i think the marauders might be in the top five list of several potterheads out there if they were to do a tv show with the marauders being attached to so many different things that play out in the prisoner of azkaban and so many people i know like me included thinking that the prisoner of azkaban is one of the better adaptations from the from the collection of novels Rowling has written in translation to film with that being like the top five and the way we're introduced to these very interesting and lovely characters in the books and if you didn't read the books first but you saw the movie first and their connections that being Raymond, Sirius, Peter Pettigrew and knowing that they're tied to James and the stuff that they were co doing at Hogwarts connected to Snape if you were able to put that in a television format episodic format and have it last maybe five seasons ideally that would be wonderful or they could do it a different route where it's not just solely tied to those characters, but we see how whatever they have done branches out into Snape joining the Death Eaters. You could tie in the first Wizarding War and have the show end with the conclusion of the first Wizarding War where Lily is dying, sacrificing herself by the Killing Curse. Voldemort tries to do the same to Harry. It backfires, bounces back, destroys his body. And he, of course, you know, becomes that incorporeal entity that it was until it found that new body. So in terms of another film series, well, actually not the film series, I meant to say in terms of doing a prequel TV show series, let's say they do a prequel TV show route. I'm not against them doing something that's tied to Edward Lupin. I believe he goes by Ted Lupin, but Edward Lupin is the son of Ramus and Tonks, I believe, Tonks, who we know died during the Battle of Hogwarts, trying to protect Harry and the school from Voldemort and the Death Eaters, they died. So they left behind their child, who I believe was only a month old at the time. So you kind of already have a parallel there between him and Harry. And then what's also a nice touch, later on after the series ended, Rowling herself came out and confirmed that Harry is actually Lupin's godfather. He's Ed's godfather. 
there's again so many different parallels already there you have two children who were born during the time of the wizarding battles lost their parents during the fight to protect any to protect stuff from voldemort so they're orphaned but the difference i would have play out here is that unlike harry who grew up in a house where he was not loved give lupin all of that everything harry did not have lupin's child should have all of that plus more flesh out a narrative in which we see his exploration through hogwarts and you know already having harry canon as his godfather leaves the door open for radcliffe to return if he ever wants to return as well and touch on that child's exploration without his parents letting us see how his how his parents death have shaped him into who he's become how he feels about not getting to know his parents his thoughts on the second wizarding battle related to to uh, hogwarts and harry potter and maybe even see a dynamic play out where maybe during a certain season of the show he blames harry for what happened to his parents maybe something like that plays out something like that could play out uh, maybe there's something that went on where this boy has kind of been lied to by his own godfather which could lead to some tension between them but again that's probably against how harry's been written well i don't know why you would keep that a secret honestly especially considering what you've been through so scratch that actually <laughs> but there's so much you could do there if you want to do a tv show that's a sequel set on ed lupin i think that would be the most ideal route for me right now like top number one if you're doing a sequel show set it on the child of ramus and tunks sounds like a beautiful story that could be told and learning about that kid's exploration and maybe setting up a dangerous dark threat obviously to create a conflict for the narrative and maybe even bridge it out over the course of the season building into maybe one final movie with daniel back as harry teaming up with the son of ramus and tunks i think that would just be a phenomenal thing to see if it could play out ideally how i see it in my head but what would you guys prefer to see if harry potter were to return in television format would you prefer to see a different type of prequel show that's not set on the marauders or would you prefer the marauders or if you get a sequel show what would you want to see from that would you want to see it set on edward lupin would you want to see it set on harry's kids would you want to see it actually even set up on hermione possibly if emma watson is down to come back for it you can let me know all of that down in the comment section below i am looking forward to seeing what actually happens with this ip because i think they're taking it more seriously this time around due to the failures of fantastic beasts to actually try to do something more tied to harry potter if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video